you talk to the guy next to you. He's like, ah, oh, hot one today, isn't it? Yeah. Sweating up a storm over here. When it's cold mm-hmm. and someone looks at you, say, so don't look at me. I'm in pain and I hate you. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. It keeps skipping on me. I'm scared we're going to lose something. But I think we're going smoothly. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm Skippy. And this is my deodorant. This here is Frank. This is a paper from last week. We're all over the place. <laughs> it's like you're just teaching th- people things. It is uh, Wednesday. You know, we got to brush off the old dirt around yeah, the, the, uh, the edges. A, we rust, pa- we a wire brush. A wire brush. Wire brush or power wash. Why do no one use wire brushes to brush our teeth? Spencer, that's the most horrifying thought. I literally can't go forward. No, please. It's get rid of all of the plaque and the enamel. That will be my commercial for it. It's horrendous. I, just, I keep looking because I, it's seven twenty-seven. Is the date? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's uh, July twenty-seventh. Okay. We're coming to the end of July. Yeah. Um, oh my! Thankfully, I think today might have been like eighty degrees. Mm-hmm. It was heaven sent. I think the whole world felt that heat wave that was last it week. really was everywhere and <laughs> it was it was my car air conditioning was broken our house air conditioning broke <laughs> yeah and i work outside so yeah. let me tell you let me let me walk you through my day last week i would wake up <laughs> in a pool of sweat oh i would then say i'm late for work right i'd get into my car that is like an easy bake oven has just heated up all night yeah crack the windows maybe i can get over 25 miles an hour and get a little bit of a breeze if not, I go to work where I'm working outside all day, and then I go home. <laughs> With and no, like you have a, you have a a, a, a place where you work, like a clubhouse. Yeah, a little club, With, but it's, it's not. Op- it's, it's open air. It's not air conditioned. Yeah, it's yeah. open air. Um, not, but you know what? I'm not going to complain, not even for one second, because I'll take that. Yes. Every single day. I won't take I'll, it every I'll, single day. I thought you were going to say I'll take it as opposed to the other side of the spectrum. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. I'll take that every single day, opposed to. One week, I know of below thirty-two no, degrees. No, it's true. It's even true. with heat, it's true. You know, like I'm saying, I didn't have air conditioning in the winter. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, I do have a heated car. Mm-hmm. I do have a heated house, and I do have a heated office in the winter. I don't care. No, it's not worth the it, the walk. It's, from it's the, more debilitating. The so, for the people out there who only live in a warm climate, uh, and so you can't even imagine the horror that is freezing. Um, it's debilitating more than heat. It gets into your bones. You just can't think. It gets into your brain. Yeah, it's, it gets it, in your brain. You says, can't think. It says just drive into an icy pond and just let the pain melt away. Oh, well, not for me, but okay. um, <laughs> not for me either. Um, it's debilitating. This was uncomfortable, but yeah. but uh, you can, you can. It's it's like something you can like you can chat about. Yeah, when when you're at the local Wawa. You talk to the guy next to you. He's like, ah, oh, hot one today, isn't it? Yeah. Sweating up a storm over here. When it's cold mm-hmm. and someone looks at you, say, don't look at me. I'm in pain and I hate you. Yeah, you can't even talk, though. You can't H- even how talk. are you making your mouth move? Because you can't talk. You said people talking at the local Wawa. People talking at the local Wawa like yesterday was about mega millions. Mega millions. Let's talk about Meg- it. The mega est of millions. It's the, the, the mega, mega millions. Um, you know how these things go, the uh, the old... Gambling. Ooh, gambling, lottery. Um, it goes that every, if the numbers aren't called, that money isn't just given away. It's like, all right, do it again. And so the money can add up, add up sometimes. Right. And every once in a while, we get to these big old jackpots. Right. And so... Um, the heat wave, people weren't noticing no. that no one was no one was picking the lotto numbers. So it was 800 million. 830 million when I... And bought a ticket yesterday nobody's ticket was picket my right? ticket was not picket and so it is up to 1.02 billion u.s currency billion billion dollars yeah now it's exciting you want to immediately do it christian perspective how do you christian feel about it perspective um and obviously it uh, goes without saying that it's an addiction a gamble if it if it is an ad- your addiction yeah. That uh, I, I'm sorry for you and the amount of triggers you must be receiving right now. Not you. Yeah. But I can imagine. Cause whoever. I never get. Ga- like, I have no interest in the smallest of gambling. I wasn't even interested in the Mega Millions, to tell the truth. 
yesterday. I, I don't I don't know. But like it's this. I'm I'm probably gonna go buy one. Yeah. And it's like so I can only imagine if it's like you have to grid your teeth at every local lotto machine. And yeah. Then now it's like the whole world is. Or it's also it's. It's you're you're absolutely correct, and also it's a, a it's a tiny little spark that can grow into a, a wildfire because it's like well of course I'm gonna get the Mega Millions it's two dollars yeah and you don't even have to go like somebody um could go f- you said your your work is gonna pull. yeah they'll pull you know I, they never asked that they, uh, let me stop you for a okay. second okay uh, at schools nowadays especially before you can bring anything in you say. Does anyone have any allergies? Right. I should be aware for right. it. These office pools, nobody's asking, does anyone here have a gambling addiction? You're right. You are just, you're basically saying, hey, we're all pulling money right. into it's harmless. In, in, into, into an alcohol thing. And you don't know that, that Jerry in the corner is an right. alcoholic. Right. How about that? No, it's true. It's like, oh, oh, well, I'm not gambling. I'm just giving my $2. Right. Oh, you're sending a photo of the, of the winning of the numbers? Let me just look at it. Yeah, it's a trigger. Mm. I guess they'd have to. That quit. feels good in my veins. They would have to go to a meeting. There's yeah. Gamblers Anonymous. G eight. Um, and so for that, I'm sorry for them. For myself, of course, you fantasize like, oh my gosh, what if hap- what happens if I win? But when I think of one person out there winning that much money, knowing that the whole country gave two dollars to make this one person incredibly rich. It's 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 a little sad to me because the majority of the country is poverty stricken. And then so that distribution of wealth just dumps on one person. Now, uh, before we even get into a Christian perspective, though, is that not a little bit better, though, than a casino or something where you are saying we're all given two dollars. And like if you instead of you say me, 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 you say we, we, we. One of us is going to make it to the top. Funny. You should say that. I thought I was talking to you, but I was talking to um, Preston. And he was telling me that um, where he works, uh, that a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a few, a couple pastors come in. He, uh, as we know, he works at the seafood. He's a fishmonger. (laughs) I can't think of it. It's like doppelganger. (laughs) He's a fishmonger. Um, Anyway, they come, pastors come in. And he looks at their clothing and they're dressed very, very high um, cost of yeah. brand. They buy extremely expensive orders of high end seafood. And it, he was we were he brought it up and we were talking like, oh, how about these pastors who they spend a lot of money personally? Right. Yeah. And I said to him what you just said, which is. The people who give them money, for, for the most part, again, I'm sorry for people who feel like they were bullied into it, but the people who give them money, if I, if we all give you $2, Pastor, then you become our celebrity because then with all the money, you get to do things that we can vicariously live through you. Uh, I, 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 I don't agree with that as much. I mean, because I don't know if that's what's happening. I think there's two different things going on. Uh-huh. If that was the case, like yeah. they were like, let's make, this is our celebrity. We want him to succeed. I think the problem runs in with these pastors that spend money when it's they think that they're doing a godly service or they think they're giving money to an institution or just the people they're they're giving money to promote their faith and then a one person's profiting if it is just like or if he's selling something and they want to pay him mm-hmm. that's different but if they want to pay the church and he gets money that's where the line is drawn because where this is different is you want to be the, the billionaire. I but have a chance. You have a chance. Yeah. So it, it's not like nobody would want to give. Everyone's like, all right, on this month's Mega Millions, uh, Joey Beans is going to win. Everyone give your two dollars. No, why would anyone give two dollars? Like, well, why is Joey Beans winning? Okay. It's because it's not because it's we all want to be the billionaire billionaire, but it's all it's like sort of us, you know, where these other things that you give money to, you're making rich people richer. Now, obviously, you know, all the taxes, you are making the government richer, but. Also, you should have said Fred Beans instead of Joe Beans, because then I could have said, get to know Beans, Fred Beans. It's a local car dealership. But when you are saying um, that who would give the money or or you're giving it for no reason, even if you lose with the lottery, lottery in the United States does benefit. In Pennsylvania, it benefits um, the elderly, but I don't know. 
like it's not exactly a private business, right? It's the government. No, that, yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. And that's why I feel like it's not. You shouldn't be as hard on yourself as with other gamblings because that's oh, what I'm right. saying. It's like you're not giving it to a casino. Who, okay. There's a casino owner who's making millions. You're giving – you're basically it's just – if you think about it on a very small scale, mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense. There's, mm-hmm. there's a, It's a raffle. Yeah. Right? Like everyone puts their, their $5 in. It's going to something and then someone wins the raffle. It's the like, gift basket, which was not worth – the only, the only people that are that are that are going to win are the people that are putting in right that are, are a part of this and so the, the gift basket is more expensive than the two dollars yeah but because this all start this all started when you said oh is it bad that um you know we're, we're all giving two dollars to it's like well not really because it's going to someone who doesn't have all that money that's not necessarily true why a millionaire could win I know but so could a poor person it's, it's as equal as it gets. Well, that's what I'm saying. It just seems to dump a billion dollars on one person. That person may already be well off. It just they like, could also be a, a, a foster parent of seven. But even if they were a foster parent of seven, they don't need a billion dollars. And do you? Uh, no. Well, nobody does. But I'm, but it just seems to be that the whole country is poor, and that it just seems like they're selling a dream. Yeah. These two dollar tickets, but I, I I never liked that argument. Because this is why it's like, yes, on paper, it's like if we could all put our two dollars into something good, how good would it be? It? But nobody would have would be incentivized. They wouldn't. To, and I, and I don't even mean to be looking down on other people. I want to be incentivized. Yeah. I I don't even I, I I always skip the ads when Wikipedia asks me to donate. Yeah. And they they beg. And, and, <laughs> and it's unfortunate that I they know, beg. It's I know, unfortunate I know. that I don't pay them. I know. Because it's like. They have given me so much. They have over the, especially through college and stuff. They have. They've given me so much on a nonprofit, no ad basis. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, I a hundred percent see that. But being that that's not happening, you can't you say, yeah, well, why don't we do because this? Because it's mental. I, I it's like when you when you tell someone you're getting them a present, they're like, can you just give me the cash instead? It's like, well, I was going to give you the pre the whole point yeah. is the present. It didn't even have to do with the money. Right. Uh, you're right. I also learned that people don't value what's free. Yeah. Like, uh, if if we said um, we're gonna have a free talk, you know, and for people to come out, they yeah. wouldn't value it. But if we said we're having a talk, tickets are five dollars, they would value it more. I don't know. What there's kind a whole of- there's a whole like thing to that about like, pr- like marketing and pricing mm-hmm. about like how if you price things too low. They might do worse, yeah, because people don't val- see right. value in them, yeah, even if it's the same product or service or whatever. But um, anyway, Christian perspective, yeah. Um, here's the problem with it, and uh, I'm not saying don't gamble, but the problem with it, because I find myself as well getting into it, is not about the act of gambling. It's about that that time between when you buy your ticket. And when you're waiting for the the millions and you have such this hope and you're fantasizing right. about a grandiose life and you're putting your faith in luck for success. Right. Where we're as Christians, I think we're meant to put our faith in God for like you're, you're getting pulled away. It's like God's like, oh, put your faith in me and I'll give you everything. Right. And then you're like, OK, put my faith in you. And then. Mega Millions is out, and it's like, whoa, everything, everything in your mind of like right. the cars, the house, and it's like you're 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 fantasizing in this, in in this luck. But couldn't and, you also be fantasizing like, oh, this is gonna be so great because I'm gonna open my orphanage. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. and and that's why I'm 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 not against it. I'm not ever gonna say don't gamble. I'm just saying you need to be careful with putting, like, it, it's like we all as poor people we all know you know it's harder for a poor man to get to heaven yeah it's um it's we're fantasizing of being that part oh yeah i don't even want to be rich it's like when that seven billion or when the one billion's in your face you're like hold on and it's like yeah can you win the billion of dollars and can you be a good person before be a good person after and put it all to right a good place yeah but i think let it be just that let it be a fun little thing right don't let it take over your mind right that's what i need yeah balance yeah if, let if, it be fun. If, let, let it be fun and 
and small scale. Yeah. If every day you were distracted by thinking about how your life could be better with wealth, that would not be good for you. No. But if, like you said, if you buy the ticket and then between now and the drawing, and I think the drawings every night, you know, you, you think, what would this be like? Or, or what would I do with it? And and then you didn't win and then it's over. But like it's if it's as if you like if you um, obsess about it or yeah, or, or, or like, feel so depressed. Yeah. Or, or just say like, that's what I need. Like, that's the greatest thing in life to win the lottery. Yeah, because when you're thinking it's a it's a short little fantasy that you're having. Right. And you're like, oh, I'll do this and this. You you're definitely not thinking about the taxes you'd have to pay yeah. or the, or the people that will come to you and you'll feel so bad to say no to them yeah. or wrong what if you like waste a lot of it on accident and you know like wrong investments or just money can cause problems that you never dreamed of because you don't have money yeah and so as long as it's a short term and just in in your own spiritual journey it's like god doesn't care if you're poor or if you're rich and so sometimes why do we care so much yeah it's one of those things where it like that's what you need to remember is this isn't going to affect right my spiritual life my important yeah, life right and right. i wouldn't but i wouldn't feel bad just like you know i wouldn't like if you're on a diet you have a piece of cake or if you yeah exactly you know, or if you rate if you lose your temper you're trying to be peaceful but you lose your temper you know these things are like so you're you're not into gambling or or uh, materialism but it's it's the mega millions uh fever yeah. and, and you get into it you know yeah and like so that's what i'm saying yeah it's like sometimes it's just that it's like it can just be mm-hmm. fun and harmless it's it's all about and, I, and like, like I said, I always make this comparison about like, because I come out here and I say a lot of things aren't bad, right? Like you can do that. You're not going to go to hell if you gamble. You're not forgetting about God if you're thinking about a car for right. one, every once in a while. I think it's all about mindfulness and it always has been about mindfulness. And I'm glad you brought up cake because that's all you want to promote with cake, right? Like when you're, I, I don't think any person should say, don't ever have sugar again. Don't ever die. Don't ever have candy. But it's saying, just be mindful that what you are having is a sweet. It's not sustainable. Right. It, it's an, it's enjoyable. You'll enjoy it. But but when you're enjoying it, just know that that is what it is. Yeah. A little sweetie. Um, is it great for you? No, but it's fine. Like it's not going to affect your diet long term. Right. You you're still eating your chicken. Right. And rice every day. It's like just. It's mindfulness. It, right. it, it's putting everything in a category and and not letting the categories get muddled and say, right. oh, well, now I realize my whole diet consists of cake. Yeah. It's, no, there's a time and a place. And the, no, no, I don't want to say time and place. Like I said, it's all just about knowing. Even if you mm-hmm. do end up eating too much cake, it's better to know, I know I ate too much cake mm-hmm. than to be confused and say, I don't know why I feel so bad. Right. It's like, well, you've been eating cake all day. It's like, as long as I think the first step in anything is just knowing what it is. Right. Knowing, yes, I know. A little crazy today. I'm going to get. I'm going to start eating my chicken and rice right. tomorrow. That's fine. Yeah. Um. And just to circle back to the um, people who have a gambling addiction. Shout um, out. In a Christian perspective, I would um, say that to keep in mind that your addiction is not a sin. No. So, um, you know, alcoholism, um, gambling, um, porn addiction, you know, when you when you're trying to be strong spiritually and physically and financially, all these things could screw you up. Um, but like uh, some people do go towards I need to pray it away or yeah. I, it's, it's, it's a spiritual um, deficit of mine. Um, it, and it's it's not. So, of course, if you are diabetic, you can't be like everyone else and have the cake yeah and if you are a gambler again you have a gambling addiction you can't be like everybody else and get the mega millions yeah but not because you're a sinner no not because jesus didn't want you to do it it's because you you have a particular um yeah issue. It, it, it's an it's an earthly thing mm-hmm. the same way you know like god's just he's here to help and it's like when he's, he's not like you did him wrong mm-hmm. you know but now you have a gambling addiction it's now you have a gamble now you have an earthly gamble that had, yeah, had to do with your free choice right and now He's still here to help you. It's like, yeah, you can't pray it away, but it's like he'll be there with you right. every step of the way you to as support you, you. As you're experiencing it. And I think that's like back to the whole luck. Like that is the, the thing about it is you can't lean on luck in hard times. You know, you can't lean on 
these money always you know money can money can disappear luck can run out but it's like so then when you're sitting there and you're in a gambling addiction your luck ran and ran out and your money yeah. ran out yeah the one thing that you that we always talk about to lean on is god right. because it doesn't matter about any of those things right it, it can't run out there there is a never-ending supply of that of that well the luck ran out for um the winners of nascar on sunday uh this past sunday the poconos there's a race up in the poconos yeah that um there's a nascar race that happened on sunday in the poconos pennsylvania mountains i never knew that and um yeah i was actually gonna go really yeah because preston was off um he had a break between two different jobs and um i was like it would be bad seats and everything but like who cares i've never been to a nascar so i was like poconos not far from yeah so anyway their luck has run out because I uh, believe the actual winner and then someone else uh, were disqualified. Oh. Um, because after the race, they do. And you know who it was? One of them, at least, was um, one of the brothers. Kurt Busch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and um, they do pre post race car checks and like they peel off some decorative um, trim and there was extra metal. I don't know anything about race car race cars or how that would have helped or if it they're appealing. So apparently. They're saying it didn't have anything to do, but it's not allowed. It happened. So there was a little dark cloud in the Poconos this weekend. Oh, man. The Poconos gets wild. There's always <laughs> a little bit of extra metal up there. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's not National Scotland Day. Okay. Which I think it, uh, once I explain why, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. So I go through the holidays mm-hmm. every day. I'm like, hey, why not? You know, it's like my little thing. Even if you don't like it, I like it. I like to know. See what I should be celebrating today. Like for one, I want uh, chicken fingers. If I go out to dinner tonight, I'm going to get chicken fingers. National Chicken Finger Day. Is it? Okay. Or chicken tenders. I think same thing. Same thing. The adult way of saying it. Right. What age do you get where you got to start calling tenders? I don't know because I didn't grow up with chicken fingers or tenders. It wasn't a thing. What, just nuggets? No. No chicken nuggets. No. I, yeah, that's a lie because you had like McDonald's. I know. You can look it up. I don't know when McNuggets were invented, but I didn't grow up with, I didn't grow up. Well, I did also, my mom maybe wasn't buying it for us, but it, it wasn't like normal like it is now. It wasn't a chill. Fish sticks was a child's food. Fish sticks, but not chicken sticks. Chicken fingers. I don't know if I buy that. Okay. Well, my house. In your house. Okay. Anyway, what age? Now, in t- today's day and age, obviously not 26. I'm What's still the question? Saying, do you got to stop saying chicken fingers and start saying chicken tenders? I think they're two different things. Tenders are fatter and chicken fingers are No, I think it's the more opposite. More breaded. I think chicken fingers are like kind of like more of the look like fingers and then chicken tenders are more flat and like an arrow shape. Yeah, I don't know, but it's not. It is chicken fingers day, you're saying. Chicken tender day. It's chicken tenders day. Yeah. And creme brulee day. Yeah, how do you remember? <laughs> but you were talking about Scotland. I'm talking about Scotland. So I was going through, and like the first two was uh, it's National Bagpipes Day today. Yeah, don't start me. I have very bad, very bad memory of the bagpipes. Yeah, so I work at a local park, and um, there was this guy who just appeared out of like out of a, he apparated. Yeah, is that a sure. word? apparition no like, uh, uh, the process of the process <laughs> yeah, of uh-huh. an arp- 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 yeah. arp- and um he was just sitting by a tree just playing his bagpipes and apparently he just shows up sometimes and just plays them by himself in a park so why would that be a bad memory for me because if you check out our instagram at crook and crow every day we do polls um you know pitting bible verses against each other seeing what inspires you more on that given day and um you came to the park and I was the working, working hard. I was on my little ATV. And the bagpiper was bagpiping. This beautiful melody. An age-old C- song. Perfect. And so I'm Kismet. reading the, the Bible verses. And there's yeah. just a beautiful the background. harmony of bagpipery happening behind me. And you take it. You look it back. It's good. The bagpipes are coming in clean. Yeah. And then you just go around just goofing off for 30 minutes. And... uh <laughs> You know, go like, check your check all your emails, do stuff. When you go back to Instagram, it's gone, long it's, gone. It deleted itself. It deleted itself. Only saving grace on this channel right now, or after this, not right now. Go to Shorts 
I have a short on there of you doing a little doing a little jig to and the you bagpipes. Can, you can hear the bagpipes in the background. The bagpipes. The bagpipes for six seconds. Or um, less. <laughs> or less. And so it, it, it was it was very much the only little thing that we found. A very we, we, we saved, small rather. saving grace to an overall screw But it still doesn't tell me about Scotland Day. Because it's also National Scotch Day. Scotch the drink? Scotch the drink. Oh. Wait, what do you mean also? Oh, it's bagpipes and scotch, but not Scotland. So I'm reading and I'm like, okay, it's National Bagpipes Day. Okay. It's National Scotch Day. Okay. And it's like some other stuff, but I'm like, that's a weird, if if this, the connection, they're two very, everyone knows that those two things embody Scotland. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, maybe Are you sure it's not their Independence Day or something? I don't know. I I just, I didn't look that hard, but I looked like enough. Well, um... A happy Scotland Day because two of your things are being celebrated. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's like almost like you should celebrate, celebrate it more now than yeah. on Scotland Day. Are, Scot- on the- are, are bagpipes from Scotland originally? Yes. Because Irish people do do pipe the bags. <laughs> um, no. it's Yeah. It's a Scottish instrument. I mean, mm. I mean, Jamaicans play the steel drum, but that started in Trinidad. Trinidad. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, traditional bagpipes, they even have that same kind of... Um, plaid or it's not plaid like the this, tartan yeah the tartan yeah. yeah yeah i don't know i don't um, know either but yeah so anything else um i'm sure but i just can't remember i mean the nascar thing really threw me off yeah well uh, you know it's one word wednesday but uh i think the one word just say it at the end before the beginning is uh mega millions Mega millions. Because it does come with a lot of question marks in Christianity. You know, like, you talk about the gambling addicts, but it also is a, a big unanswered question for yeah. a lot of Christians about gambling. Thing. I mean, we had a gambling podcast that you can check out for our just our thoughts on gambling overall. But something small like this, personally, I think it's a little bit of candy. Yeah. I think it's a, pix, a pixie stick. You know? Well, mega... I mean that word is even um, talk about chick talk about chicken fingers. I think mega is a newish word, right? Yeah. Um, remember during the Johnny Depp trial, they said, um, "And you, and isn't it true that you were drinking? A, no, that you poured yourself a mega pint, <laughs> you know?" And I forget Johnny Depp's answer, but he was like, "A mega pint? <laughs> like what size is that?" <laughs> mega alpha so, and the omega. Beginning oh, and the that's end. the only mega you need. The only that's mega good. I need. Um, all right, guys, that is it. Um, We'll be back tomorrow for a walk through Thursday. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go buy a ticket. You're going to buy a ticket. Yeah. Don't forget the polls. Oh, um, we should start an, an entire Krogan Crow poll. How? You Venmo us money. <laughs> and whether you win or you're not, you don't, you'll never see the money back. Well, I did. Say, you said that you can't use. Yeah, wait. Well, we're like those rich pastors. Make us celebrities. <laughs> you said that you can't use card for the lottery yeah because it would promote not promote but it would not I help i think you can but this is the thing i saw an ad and it said you can get an app and buy the ticket off your app that's obviously a card maybe no i went into a store and she said cash only so i know what you're saying but what was this about unless it's only like linked to your bank account or something yeah or maybe it's like well that's the whole point of the app is like how it can give us our your money we'll we'll buy you a ticket you little gambling thief Oh, you don't think it's straight into it? Ha, it can't. It can't be a third party. I don't know. We'll be back tomorrow. Maybe we'll have answers that we don't have now. Till then, be good. Be be good. Peace. Fourteen, twenty-seven, sixty-three. I was giving them lottery numbers.